Jim Forbes, Texas at El Paso. Hit. Inside 40 seconds, the U.S. down by one. Forbes now with four points. Tommy Henderson. He cannot afford the foul. It's a two-shot shooting foul. Odessas Velasquez. Into Alexander Belov. Inside 20 seconds. This is Velasquez. This machine-like Russian team running the clock out. But the Russians recover. Now intercepted. Five seconds. Four seconds. Ten to the basket support. Three seconds shows on the clock as Doug Collins desperately driving for that lay-in. Crashed into the support of the basket. Doug Collins of the United States. Illinois State University was shaken up. The nation. This place goes insane. Doug Collins has tied it up. We never saw the official indicate that foul, but Doug Collins has perhaps won the game. Two seconds. Somebody has gone down on the floor. The Russian coach and Hank Ibor. Our Russian official and Hank Iba were yelling at each other. And Bedlam has taken over here at the basketball hall. The United States leaves now 50-49. There's one second showing on the clock. What, what neither team wants is a technical foul. Everybody trying to calm everybody else down. And it would appear... the officials trying to get everyone settled down and quieted down comes over to talk to Hank Iba and Tommy Henderson gesturing to the clock perhaps asking is that official the horn had sounded but apparently they're going to move the clock back down to the three seconds well confusion reigns but the United States still they have that one point lead 50 49 as a result of two Pressure pack, foul shots by Doug Collins of Illinois State. Now the clock shows three seconds. There is time for the Russians to go to their big man, Alexander Belov. They're going to try. Alexander Belov. Between two American defenders. Back there with him, Jim Ford and McMillan. And the Russian team has mobbed Alexander Belov. And this time it is over. First, it was indicated the U.S. had won 49, 48. Then the clock, and again, the official is talking to head coach Hank Iba on the 